Do you need an extra man? You must be one of the new ones, huh? Eh? If you're looking for a camp to join, try the sec boonies. They're not fussy about who they take on. We don't take just anyone. Not unless you want to go digging in the old mine. Who calls the shots around here? Thoris is the one that makes sure things don't fall apart. He's right under Gomez. I'm new here. So I see. How's things? You make trouble here, you get punished. What do you call trouble? Most diggers pay us to protect them. If you mess with one of them, we'll deal with you. If I catch you rummaging around in other people's huts. Okay, okay, I get the point. How's it going? You looking for trouble? Where can I find Thoris? He usually stands at the castle entrance. Where can I find Diego? During the day, he's usually at the castle entrance with Thoris. It was obvious there would be trouble ahead. Hi. What do you want? What can you tell me about the camp? I guess the most interesting part of it is the marketplace. If you're looking for anything in particular, that's the place to go. It's the place under the large roof, south of the outer ring. What people should I know around here? If you get into any trouble with the guards, go and see Gravo. You'll find him at the bathing place, near the castle gate. He deals with guys who get into trouble. It happens quicker than you'd expect especially to newcomers. I want to be a shadow. Oh, have you talked to Diego yet? Yeah, I have. Good. You just do as he says then. It didn't do me any harm. Well, not really, anyway. Not yet. Then do so. You'll find him at the entrance to the castle. I am new here. Just arrived, have you? I'm Grim. I haven't been here for long either. I was thrown in with the load before you. What's life like here? Easy going. As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this camp? Well, first of all, you have to become a shadow. Therefore, you have to find somebody who supports you Somebody who explains everything to you and takes responsibility for you. If I was you, I'd try to keep close to Diego. I did it like that. He's quite all right. He'll make you take the test of faith. That's different from everybody. Then there'll be some other smaller tasks from other shadows. If you manage them, you'll be with us. What was your test of faith? I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here. Tell me something about the old camp. It's the biggest and most powerful of the three camps. Gomez and his guys control the camp and thereby the whole ore trade. Once a month, the king sends us everything we need. We've got the old guy in our grip, you understand? He sends us wine, bread, meat, weapons, everything. You can also get some of it. All you have to do is join Gomez's people. What about the two other camps? The two other camps split up to pursue their crazy escape plans. There's the new camp in the west of the colony, where the mages think they can just detonate the barrier as soon as they've scraped enough ore together. And then there's the sect loonies in the east. Their camp is in the middle of the swamp, and they're praying to their idol to set them free. He hasn't responded so far. If I were you, I wouldn't waste my time on those madcaps. Tell me more about the barrier. There isn't much to tell. It's impenetrable. What happens if I just walk out of here? The last one who tried that reached the other side a dead man. This damn barrier lets you in, 
but you'll never get out of here. If there's a way out, I'll find it. You're already in a rush to get out of here? But you've only just arrived. Hang on. I did not go Take care. You don't look as though you'd just let anyone get into the castle. Only Gomez's men are allowed in the castle. If I gave you a certain amount of ore, would you let me in the castle? For a certain amount. How much? Well, it'd have to take a while to count the ore. Long enough to make sure me and my boys are busy counting while you slip by. So tell me, how much? One thousand nuggets should be enough. A thousand nuggets? Well, you could join up with Gomez. That'd get you in the castle for free. I want to work for Gomez. Oh yeah? And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's gonna test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? I'll talk to Diego. Why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you. And if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. There must be something you want done. No. The things we guards deal with are a bit above you, kid. You just stick to the tasks your patron sets for you. I'm quite capable of doing anything you tell me to. Oh, so you're intent on failing, eh? There is one thing that only someone who's not with Gomez can see to. But I'm warning you, you blow this and you'll be in mighty big trouble. I'm ready for your task. What I'm about to tell you is between you and me, and nobody else must ever hear about it. Understood? Sure. We have a problem with a guy from the new camp. His name's Mordrag. He's been stealing from the Ore Barons. Of course, that applies to a lot of the rogues in the new camp. But this guy has the nerve to come to our camp and sell our stolen goods to our boys. He's gone too far. But he knows I can't do anything about it. Why? Because he's under the protection of the mages. Sounds to me like the mages are your problem. Yeah, but they're a problem that's hard to solve. A few years back, one of the shadows tried to stab the High Magician of the Circle of Fire while he was sleeping. They found him later in the Outer Ring. In fact, he was scattered all over the Outer Ring. Why do the mages protect that Mordrag? Because they use him as a gopher. Our local mages are in contact with the mages over in the new camp. They often send gophers back and forth. They're likely to become very unpleasant if I throw one of their gophers out of the camp or have him killed. What about me? What do you think the mages will do to me? You're new here. You'll be okay. But I'm responsible for what my boys do. That's why it's vital that you keep your mouth shut. Where can I find Mordrek? You'll find him at the south gate on the other side of the castle, just beyond the entrance. The bastard wouldn't dare come any further into the camp. Do you want me to kill the guy? I want you to make sure I never see his face around here again. I don't care how you do it. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. I need to get into the castle. I have a letter here for the High Fire Mage. And you expect me to let you stroll inside the castle to hand it over and collect your reward? Yeah. Okay, show me the letter. I'm not letting you handle it. Forget it. Okay, I've forgotten. I've talked to Thoris. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? 
First, there are a few things you should know. What do I have to know to be accepted in the old camp? If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. Take care. Where do I find the important people? Well, you're looking at one of them. Then there's Thoris. You already know him. As for the others, you'll have to find that out by yourself. If you don't manage to do that, you don't belong here anyway. Just go through the outer ring and talk to people. Then you'll find out who's important. Who can teach me? Start with Fingers. He's the most skillful among us. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find other people who can teach you. Where can I find Fingers? His hut's kind of hidden. It's next to the castle wall. Just start out here and go towards the arena. When you're at the castle gate, go down to the left and you'll be heading for the arena. That wasn't very clever. What's the test of faith? You have to go to the old mine. There you'll meet a guy called Ian. He'll give you a list. This list is important. It contains all the items the guys in the mine need from us. They'll get the stuff with the next convoy. No problem. Yes, there is a problem. The new camp must not get that list. Like I said, the list is important. If you do it right, you'll get much further. If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. I'll tell him. Where can I find the old mine? Go to Grail. He's a cartographer. Tell him that I sent you and that you need a map. It'll show you the way to the mine. He lives to the left of the north gate. Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. Your strength has increased a lot. Your skills in using the bow and the crossbow have improved. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. What about my esteem within the camp? I've talked to a few people. And? The business with Mordrag is really quite a job. He's not bad as a warrior. You should exercise if you really want to defeat him. Get on with it. There are still many things to do if you want to get anywhere here in the camp. Take care. You shouldn't believe... How are you doing? Well, since I stopped working in the mine, I can't really complain. And where do you get your ore from? I help people who have problems. If you get into trouble with influential people here, I can help you sort the thing out. If I was in trouble, you could help me? How? Well, let's assume you're in trouble with Thoris. You better never get into trouble with him, but then, well, you never know. Thoris can be quite stubborn. When he's pissed off with you once, he'll never talk to you again. And that's a bad thing. As a greenhorn, you depend on him. So you come to see me. I know a lot of people here Thoris listens to. They put in a good word for you, and Thoris is your friend again. Of course, the boys want to see some ore for these kind of favors. Your ore. And I take care that your ore gets to the right people. Could you tell me which of the shadows belongs to the influential people here? You ought to impress the right people, do you? Diego has the most power of all the shadows. He trusts Fingers, Whistler, and Sly. Dexter and Fisk sell their stuff on the market square. They have many customers, even the guards. And that makes them rather influential. And then there's Scatty. He's in charge of the arena and determines who fights and all that. Many people here owe him ore. He's important as well. There wasn't. Same old story every time. Keep it to yourself. I don't know if you need to know anything. I'm not rushing into anything.
Hi, I'm new here. I'm Graham. I draw maps. I haven't seen you here before. What do you want? Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. Hold on. Diego said you should give me the map, not that you should sell it to me. But I'm not interested. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a map like this? 20 is my special price for friends of Diego. Usually I take 50. Give me the map or I'll take it. Hey, be cool, man. I don't want trouble. Here, take the map and leave me alone. I'm new here. Who are you? I am Baal Taran of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. What is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper? We're a community of believers in a new faith. Our camp is situated in the east, in the swamp. I've come to preach the words of the Sleeper to strangers like you. Who is the Sleeper? The Sleeper is our Redeemer. He disclosed himself five years ago through Eberion, our master. Since then, we have renounced the three gods. And you should do so as well. The gods just stood by and watched while we were exiled to this prison. But the sleeper will lead us to freedom. How do I get to the Brotherhood's camp? I'm busy, but Baal Parvez should be somewhere in this camp as well. He's near the marketplace, on the other side of the castle. I believe he's even got his own hut there. Tell me about the Sleeper's teachings. The Sleeper is a powerful being, maybe even more powerful than Enos, the god of light. He is with us in spirit, but his power is still limited. He has been sleeping for a thousand years, but now the moment of his awakening is near. He has chosen us to be witnesses to his awakening and to spread his word. So listen, all those who join the Sleeper will have immortal souls, but those who are against him will be punished. But the Sleeper is compassionate and sends proof of his might to all who doubt him. How does your God prove his might? He speaks to us through visions. Whoever hears his voice, no longer doubts his might. If you take the weed which grows in the swamp, you will be close to the sleeper and able to hear him. Some people even see images. I see. What will the way to freedom look like? We are preparing a great invocation of the sleeper, in which all novices create the contact together. In this invocation, the sleeper will reveal the path to freedom. I need to get into the castle. Can you help me? I fear I cannot, brother. The only ones among us who may enter the castle are those who supply the weed to Gomez. We gather swamp weed and sell part of it to the old camp in exchange for goods from the outside world. If you were one of the couriers working for Kor Kalom, you could get into the castle. But for that, you would need to be one of us. What do you want to do in the castle anyway? I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Oh, and where did you get that from? The mages gave you that before they threw you in here, right? You're stupid to tell people about it. But don't worry, I won't tell anybody. But do yourself a favor, and don't tell anybody else about it either. The people here might slit anybody's throat for a thing like that. Most people would love to earn the reward you get for a message from the outside world. New here, are you? I don't know your face. I'm Sly. I have a job on offer for a newcomer. You have a job for me? What is it? One of our guards has disappeared. He's called Neck. He might have gone over to the new camp. 
You're new here, and you'll get around quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. If you find him, I'll speak up for you in the camp. What good will your speaking up for me do? If you want to join the camp, you need people to speak up for you. If I speak up for you with Diego, that'd be a great help for you. I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. He's taken over his district since Neck disappeared. Where will I find him? His district is the district of the arena. What's your problem? Leave me alone, man. Everyone's a problem with me. It all started when I built my hut. Don't build your hut close to the ditch, they said. But none of these bastards told me what would happen if I still did it. When I came back from the mine a few days ago, I had a second door. Those pigs, I hate them. I can't tell you how much I hate them. Now everybody runs through my hut. Every idiot. Don't. How's things? New here, are you? You better know that it's no good getting into trouble with the guards. When they want protection money, you better pay. Otherwise, half the camp will be against you. And how's things? There ain't enough room in this camp for the two of us. Pardon me? If it was up to me, you wouldn't last out here for long. Do you know why I'm here? I killed a dozen people in one night. Just like that. <laughs> so you think you're one of the wild boys, do you? Why don't you try it with me? You want to get whacked? All right, if that's what you want. Put the weapon down! Ah, wait! He's had enough. He has finished him off. Oh, that's something else instead. What do you think? Totally idiotic. There must be something about that scope. That's really not. How's it going? I've spent the last two weeks working in the mine. All I want is peace. Get out of my sight. You shouldn't believe everything. You're very pro totally idiotic. Hi, I'm new here. What do you want from me? I want to become one of you. I want to join the camp. Looking for people to support you, eh? If you want me to have a word with Diego about you, you need to do me a favor. What kind of favor do you want? I want one of Fisk's weapons. He's one of the traders at the marketplace. He won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me, but don't tell him about me. Why won't he sell the weapon to you anymore? We had a little argument. <laughs> and? And that's all you need to know. Did you ever consider that I might just run off with the ore? Don't forget. The colony is small. If you run off with my ore, I'll find you. Okay, give me the hundred ore nuggets. I'll get the thing. Here you go. Come. 
come straight back to me. Hey man, I'm Fisk. I trade goods of all kinds. If you ever need anything, you're in the right place here. I'd better keep out of it. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? I'm not listening to your blathering. Yes, I'll take it. I fear I like you don't have enough ore. I'll hold the sword back for some time, but don't wait too long. People always talk. Maybe later. That won't happen again. Show me your goods. Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. There was a time when talk about something else. That's really not my problem. There must be something about that story after all. Why don't you tell me? I'd better keep out. Fisk wants 110 ore for his sword now. And you want me to give you the 10 ore now? I thought you wanted to have that sword. Here, take it, and now hurry. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever, you do me a favor and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Until then, have a good time.